My name is TJ the DJ, and today I'm shopping at Walmart and Towson Place. You feel me? Let's go. Walmart's one of my favorite spots to shop at, and they always got the best deals in almost everything. They got t shirts, which I like their t shirts designs. You see, they got the Batman, they got Superman, they got Suicide Squad right there. I got a Randy Savage and a Bruce Lee shirt, and it was only $7.50 a piece. So then I ended up in the photo area looking at some tripods and some camera cases. I needed that, so I politely put it in my cart. But I uh, couldn't decide which tripods I wanted to get. This is when I ended over by the checkout machine to see how much it cost. When I went over there to check it, this is what happened. It said processing. But guess what? It didn't process. It ain't showing me no price. I was like, dang, this thing got to be broke. So I swiped it again. Same thing. So I was like, maybe it's just that tripod. Let me try this other one. Did it? Same thing, man. It's crazy. So I said, the hell with it. I'm going to go over in the aisle and see which one looked better. That's when I was able to decipher which one I wanted. So I took them out the packs, like, you know, like black people do. <laughs> so then I went around looking around for rollbacks and all types of good deals. And I ended up in the DVD and movie section. That's one of my favorite spots to go at. You had all types of good stuff. And I found a couple things I liked up in there. I found a Ghostbusters 1 and 2 for $9.96, Dragon Ball Z movie for $9.96, and all the Friday movies out right now for $9.96. I was happy as hell. So I said, let me take my happy ass out of Walmart. The whole Towson place is a beautiful complex. It got many stores. It got DSW, Marshalls, Target, Weiss, HH Greg. I ended up at Marshalls. So when I went over at Marshalls, you know, I was looking to see if they had anything for big and tall men like myself. Well, was looking around, looking around, looking around. I seen myself, but I ain't seen nothing that I liked to wear up in there. The only thing I could fit up in the Marshalls, to be honest with you, was the fragrances, the colognes or whatnot. So I walked my ass out of there and went to Target. Now Target, they like Walmart, but they higher price. They got had a decent photo um, accessory section, but everything was high price. Like I said, I started looking at some GoPros, and you know I'm interested in copping a GoPro, but at those prices, I ain't got no GoPro money right now. Ended over at the Beats by Dre section to see what they got. I ain't got no Beats by Dre money, so went over to the T-shirt section, my favorite sections to go to in these stores. Found a cool schoolhouse rock t-shirt, but for $13, hell no. I went to the other side to see if they had some cheaper shirts. Apparently, uh, all the shirts is the same price. I found a dope Bruce Lee, dope Spider-Man, but guess how much it was? $13 a piece. I said, hell no, the Kimmy Matumbo style. Walked my ass straight out of Target. But then guess what? I got hungry. All right, so after all that walking, all that shopping, I think it's time for me to get something to eat. Choices are either Red Robins, yum, or I can go to this, the local spot called Geno Giants, which was a staple back in the day. It was it was in Baltimore before McDonald's was, and they pretty much uh, sell about the same stuff. Or, well, they big thing is the Geno Giant, which is a Big Mac type ordeal, but they sell it in uh, ground beef and grilled chicken and crispy chicken. So. I think I'm gonna go up in there and try that. I think that's gonna be my choice. That's who I'm picking. There we go. Nice vanilla milkshake. I'm about to tear this thing up, boy. Big boy. Pause. Look at that vanilla goodness. Man, I'm gonna be in the bathroom all night tonight, boy. Woo! We got my food. Geno's Giant. Chicken Giant. Gotta put that ketchup over. You know how I like it. Let's 
check out, see what's in this burger for real. All right, so they got the sesame seed bun. Got the lettuce. Oh, they got some Thousand Island on there. And of course, this is a grilled chicken. Daddy. So, I'm about to fuck it up, y'all. I'm about to see what's going on with it. Now, upon trying this burger, I was a little skeptical because 2011, the one I had wasn't that good. But I was pleasantly surprised that this one was actually pretty delicious. And so, as you see in my face, I was enjoying it. I was tearing that thing up. It was real good. It was like a, the, the Thousand Island, the grilled chicken, and the fresh condiments, as well as the sesame seed bun, was a good pack punch for my taste buds. Also, that milkshake was just on point. It, it filled me up to the core. Pretty much that's my day um the walmart the trip to walmart was successful then i was able to walk around uh marshall's was bullshit target was bullshit walmart is better than target all day if you agree with me or you disagree with me leave a comment in the comment section then uh i was able to choose between red robin and geno giants um the reason i chose geno giants is because they're local uh they only got three locations in Maryland open. So, you know, I'm lucky to have one that's like not too far from my house. So, like I said, I got the grilled chicken Geno Giant sandwich, which is like a grilled chicken Big Mac. It had um, sesame seeds, uh, a thousand dollar dressing, the grilled chicken, the lettuce, and they have a tomato on that, though, which, uh, you know, Big Mac don't got tomato neither. But, and it was pretty, it was pretty good. I was, I was lucky to get it. You know, fresh off the grill. They just I had just opened when I got up there, so lucky me. The fries, uh, the fries kind of put you in the mind of Burger King. So I would say Geno Giants is like a mixture between McDonald's and Burger King put together. And I paid $10 for a meal, which was um, the sandwich, the fries, and seemed like a large milkshake. And I was lucky to get a milkshake because Burger King... And McDonald's milkshake machine never working. They never, or they never want to turn the thing on. It, it, uh, I don't know what's going on. What's up with that McDonald's? What's up with that Burger King? But um, yeah. So I'm pretty much done, and that's it. So I'll holler at y'all in the next episode. All right, the next vlog. Boom.